So you right now that click this video, let me ask you a question. How long have you been on self-improvement? And how many times did you relapse? How many times did you not do the good habits? How many times did you not bother go to the gym? How many times did you go outside and eat junk food? Probably a lot, right? Like 95% of people watching this are probably not as disciplined as they should be. Why is that? People think it's as simple as coming down to you either do it or you don't. But there's a very big reason why you always go back to your old habits. Even if you do really good for a week or two, you have momentum, it's looking good, and then you always go back. You're just stuck in this rut. And there's only one reason for this issue. And in this video, I answer that question and I actually give you a solution on how to not go back to your old habits every single time because it pisses you off, doesn't it? You're doing good, you're doing well, you're going to the gym, you're eating healthy, you're sleeping right, and then all of a sudden, you have one bad day and you just go back to your normal routine. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Arda, and I try my best to help inspire young men to improve all aspects of their life, like testosterone, muscle, habits, and a lot of other things. So the answer to the question, the reason why you always go back to your old habits is simply due to your identity. So if you don't know what it is, it's how you view yourself. My identity. If you're thinking, oh no, identity is your passport saying, shut the fuck up, you're not smart. I'm not meaning it in that way. We're just talking about how you view yourself. Why is identity so important? It's because you will never rise to the occasion but always fall to your highest level of preparation. And you could use this in identity terms. You will always go back to how you view yourself. And in case you're thinking, oh, what does this mean? I don't understand. Let me give you an example. You are a quite overweight guy and you want to start going to the gym. So you start going to the gym. You start watching some Sam Sulek videos. You start doing some bench press. You start running on the treadmill. But then... Your loser friends start calling you, oh fat, you're gay, oh, you go to the gym, look how you fat loser, you never lose weight. And they mock you every single time. After each time they mock you, even if it's a joke, that same joke, you start to actually believe it. Your whole friend group probably views you as a fat, funny guy, or maybe you're not even funny. They view you as the fat, lazy guy. And if they view you as the fat, lazy guy, then most likely you view yourself as the fat lazy guy so that becomes a part of your identity nah i'm not a gym bro i don't go to the gym i don't like lifting weights i don't like doing sports I'm, i like eating food that goes inside your head there's gonna be a certain point where willpower and discipline is not going to be enough those people that say discipline is the only thing that matters are either are lying to you or they have no fucking clue what they're talking about because everything matters. Motivation matters, discipline matters, how you view yourself matters. Sometimes, you might need to be a bit soft deluded. You're a little skinny guy in the gym with noodle arms, you do some tricep extensions, there's a little pump over there. Even though you and I know that you have very skinny arms. Still, oh, you see that? There's a little insertion there, you see I'm getting bigger. That will help you significantly. I did this with my friend, I have no progress in the gym, but if you positively reinforce their behavior, which is going to the gym. So you compliment them on their pump. They'll want to go to the gym more. So you can not only do this for yourself, you could do this for your friends. The first thing you're going to do to change your identity, you don't joke around with your friends about shit that you don't want to be. Your friends always call you fat and laugh. Always call you fat. You may think it's a joke yourself, but your mind doesn't know what a joke is. It's all the same thing. Bruce Lee said this so perfectly. Don't speak negatively about yourself, even as a joke. Your body doesn't know the difference. And he said some other stuff. So in a weird way, if your friends keep on calling you fat, you are more likely to be fat. Because your identity is, you're a fat person. You eat a lot of food. You don't exercise much. Another thing you're going to do, when you start seeing results in the gym, you can't really change your identity at the really, really beginning. You're going to have to see some progress in sign. So let's say you've been going to the gym, you've been following my guides, 
You, you don't have a muscular body yet, but you, you have something there. You've seen progress. This is what you're going to do. You need to show your progress, even if it's to anyone. I did the same thing, but subconsciously. So, obviously I have school, right? And I was known as the fat kid. I would always go gym and people would mock me for it. Of course, it happens. Oh, you're fat boy, fuck off. So you go eat if you're Big Mac. But at a certain point, then you see like, oh, your triceps are bigger. Your chest is starting to pop out more. And I would wear these like tight shirts. And the thing is, I was fucking deluded. When I was 12, 13, I had a pear-shaped body. My shoulders were going inside my body and my hips were so wide. But for some reason, I actually took a picture. I thought I had the muscular body. I don't know why. I was just stupid. But I genuinely believed I was muscular. I genuinely believed I had a good body. So then I started to see some more progress. And I would wear compression shirts in the gym, outside, school. And people will notice it. So they start complimenting me more. It's not the compliment that matters. It's that when they compliment you... You just reaffirmed your identity. So you could use this the other way around in a positive way. Each time you get a compliment about your physique or whatever, you are way more likely to carry on working out. It's simply due to the reason that now you have an identity. Now you go to the gym. You're that guy who goes to the gym. You're the guy who takes care of his body. This is going to sound arrogant as fuck and kind of egotistical, when it is, I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. This is egotistical. But the thing is, I guarantee you, every single successful man you look up to are egotistical. They view themselves really highly. When I say egotistical, not this like, I'm superior to everyone in the world way. But they view themselves really, really highly. Hamza, Tate, Iman, Gazi, any fucking successful guy. Most of the time views themselves above everyone else not in the way that they are, they're above value and they're like a god or something not like that it's just they look at the average guy they're like oh rough. he can't even do two push-ups they view themselves better so if, if you don't want to be arrogant oh i don't, I don't want to wear compression shirts i don't want to show my results because i'm showing off then i guarantee you you will fail in your self-improvement journey as harsh as it sounds sure there's outliers but exceptions don't make the rule. Another action step. I'm not telling you you should do this as mandatory because I haven't done it myself. But I see that it works with a lot of people. And Hamza talks about this a lot. And it's actually not a bad thing. Shave your head. It's gonna. It sounds crazy. But changing identity is also your physical appearance. So let's say you are a complete loser. And you want to change your life around. Shave your fucking head off. Because you shave your head off every single day when you wake up, you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and think of why you did it. You're in this self-improvement journey. You're trying to get better. That's why you shaved your head. Now you have this new identity. It's not mandatory to do this. And I know a lot of people won't do it. They either have nice hair or they're just fucking coping. If you're already a bit disciplined and you're getting better and better, you don't have to do it. But if you're a complete, total Jeffrey loser, then... I would really recommend doing it since it's worked for so many people. One more action step I'm going to give you before I end this video. Each time you write a page, you are a writer. Each time you read a page of a book, you are a reader. Every single time you play a note in your piano, you are a musician. That's how you're going to view it. You didn't read your book today because you did, you didn't, you disciplined yourself. And you don't like reading. I read my book today. I like reading. I actually learn. It's not that bad. See that? By the way, bro, if you got to the end of this video, I know you're like the 99%. The 99% couldn't watch this video for, what, 15 seconds? Because it's a person talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. It's not enough dopamine. They just went back to scrolling on YouTube shorts. But you, you actually stayed till the end. And if you want more content like this... If you want to stop being a fucking loser, if you want to go hard on your self-improvement journey whilst maintaining normal human relationships and not fucking destroying your social life and you want to boost your testosterone and so many other things, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That's me, Team TMS Hada.
拜。